What up, y'all? Welcome to some some historic MTG Arena. We are going to play a deck that Josh VS sent over. And this is a historic Jeskai deck. And uh, basically, we're trying to take advantage of historic cards. We got Raf Capuchin, which gives our Planeswalkers and Creatures Flash. We got uh, Ruinous Blast, Exile non permanent <laughs> that aren't legendary. <laughs> I promise I haven't been drinking. Karn's Temporal Sundering, and that can take, take some multiple turns. Teferi, Niv-Mizzet, Chandra. God Eternal Kefnet is a favorite of mine. Also, Jaya's Immolating Inferno, a classic. And we opened probably 14 of these back during Dominaria. I also love this Niv-Mizzet. <laughs> Shit tough. Yeah, that, that would work. You should definitely be drinking. We care about your... Oh, I'm drinking, I'm drinking water. But I'm not like... I'm not like drunk. Because I was hiccuping. I was, uh, you get it. Anyway, we're going to play this deck. Sideboard is three negates, three Mu Yanlings, two Disputes, three Fiery Cannonades, two Lyras, and two more Urza's Ruinous Blast. Bring in total up to four. Josh said, I don't know if I'm playing the best three mana Gideon. I don't know either. And I don't know if I can make that determination without playing the deck a little bit. We have 25 lands, which I like. Four Fibblethips. Great Cantrip. Also a great way to turn on, like, Ruinous Blast. Um... Fibblethip was not legal when Ruinous Blast and things were in standard, right? Like, War of the Spark and Dominaria, were those in play at the same time? Maybe they were? Because I kind of remember Fibblethip in the in the Teferi deck? With, like, Narsets and stuff? No, Narset was in the same set with Fibblethip. I don't actually know. Was there an overlap between War of the Spark and Dominaria? I think so. But I don't know. It doesn't matter. This is the deck. Save, save an exit, yeah. Short, short overlap. Okay. Okay. Saturday night's alright. I want to play first. I assume that's correct. I'll keep this. Captain Lannery Storm is great. Uh, Sulfur Hollow didn't play. Lannery Storm getting haste, making treasures. Grow Spiral. Oh, man. What are they Grow Spiraling into, man? Feel of the Dead's gone. Wild. <laughs> it's not intoxication. It's hydroxication. Everybody knows that. Oh, dang. I mean, I got my clue, so... <clears throat> oh, this, this is five mana. What can we do with five mana? I mean, we could just end, end of turn Wrath and then also play a Kefnet next turn. That's kind of good. Oh my god, so many gross spirals, dude. But they didn't put a land in a play there, so that's pretty okay. I guess they don't have a fifth land. Or they only have a fifth land. Just this guy, huh? Okay. <clears throat> you know what? You got it. This also exiles cards, so if this guy's on the board, we can exile it. Oh my god, this is friggin' ridiculous. It's just gross spiral dot deck over here. Fucking three gross spirals in a euro so far. That's cool. That's that's pretty good. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six mana total. And I'm pretty sure we just play Steam Vents and then Kefnet.
I mean, I'm a little scared of Ugin just lightning bolting Raph. But I guess we can actually untap Go God Eternal and then Urza's Ruinous Blast it. <clears throat> Urza's doesn't hit Euro. Oh, it's non legendary. You're right. <laughs> oh, wow. So it doesn't hit Ugin or. <laughs> Will it hit Ugin? Well, it doesn't hit this guy, that's for sure. But we do get to deal 14 damage thanks to Temporal Sunder. That's pretty good. Pass to attackers. <laughs> but tell me when my boys get here. have four mana. <clears throat> I mean, I still think it's Chandra here. You got it. <coughs> so I feel like they don't have Ugin. Otherwise, they would have not eliminated there and just negative four Dugan, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana now. do anything. You got it. So they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. So if they want to play, they can gain 4, go to 7. But then we get the Ruinous Blast, gets rid of the Forest and the Hydroid Crassus if that's their card. <clears throat> Cool. Ah. Super cool. Yeah, I'll just put that in the deck. That's fine. We only got two cards in the graveyard. One of them is... Gideon. <clears throat> um. Hmm. Well. Eight mana. Like we can play Gideon and then play Urza's Ruinous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This gets plus. This gives them gives them gives them three. Puts them to eight. My love is vengeance. My 
will be. <coughs> Prepare for battle. I'll be here now till next turn. Really, I feel like I would have just plussed Ugin and then made a forest and attacked, or yeah, and then made a forest and attacked Gideon. That seems this seems worse. Man, I felt like we were in real good shape up until they had extinction event for our our two sorceries, our two even our sorceries, two even two even cost creatures. Anyone who stands in my way is getting sizzled. What? What are you doing? Okay, he was creeping on the side there. I mean, I really want the emblem, but they have euros, so I don't think that's going to win us any games here. I mean, I'm not sure this is either, but... I've been having a ton of fun playing mono green ramps, not being historic, because I like being feeding face with big dumb idiots, but I've been playing Sandworm Virgins instead of Eugene at the top end. Uh, I would play, I would definitely play some of both. I think Ugin's actually too good to, like, just exclude in, like, completely. I'll try to come back for you. I'll try to come back for you. You're not coming back at all. That's not, there's no aspect of your card that lets you come back. <clears throat> I mean, we knew Kefna was coming, so. I'm playing the land because now that we have Kefna out, we might be able to look at cards like a like a Karn's Temporal Sundering, and I want to be able to... I guess we... I mean, we'll be able to cast anything we draw anyway, but... Karn's is one, two, three, four, and then we can just play it again the next turn. That would kill them, theoretically. Never mind. Oh boy. <clears throat> yeah, we're just going to this. That's really fucking annoying. Alright. Ruinous Blast is trash in this matchup. I do like negates. Um, I actually don't love Search for His Kanta. <clears throat> if Search for, Search for His Kanta being legendary doesn't matter because it doesn't affect uh, the legendary spells. Like you have to control a legendary uh, creature or planeswalker in order to to activate these. It doesn't it doesn't care about legendary enchantments. Kind of a mystical dispute here. I almost want Lyra as well. Justice Strike seems fine, but kind of meh. Cut the other search. Bring in Lyra's, bring in Dispute. <clears throat> yeah, this is fine. I, I I still want Fibbleth because it's just it's uh, just a draw smoother and it's also a good way to trigger your your things. So he's basically just a cantrip, you know. Uh, obviously, you know, because you put him in the deck. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. I'm gonna keep this one though. Let's get rid of probably Raph. I mean, this is assuming we can get a red land, but I think both of these are very strong if we do. So, I mean, Justice Strike hits all the 
all the relevant cards here, Euro, uh, 33 lands, and Hydroid Crassus, so. And we have the, the draw next turn, the draw the turn after that, and the draw from f the bloop, so. <clears throat> Basically, I have three hits to find a red mana. Well, that's two of them. <laughs> One more. I mean, I'll just take any land next turn because it turns on Mystical Dispute, and I just want to keep hitting land drops, but... I'll take it. Oh boy, that was a good hit. They're 100% going to eliminate this. Heartless act. Brutal. Card Ral that copies stuff. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You might want a couple of justice strikes in here. Are we, are we being serious right now? <clears throat> I don't understand what's happening right now. I can't tell if he's trolling right now. Oh, good. So long, Tefri Hero of Dominaria. Hunter just got back from his poopsie and he's real excited. playing that mono black deck recently I'm really glad no one is playing Justice Strike because it makes Frickson Glitter very sad. Oh, because it deals it to itself? Her creature deals damage to itself. Double tips going the distance here. Yeah, I don't feel like the, I don't feel like red white is super popular in historic, so I don't really feel like it's that relevant. Oh uh, boy, you got three mana, huh? Okay. Just let this guy do his thing, I guess. Seven cards in your graveyard. I wish I had things to do with all this mana. <clears throat> I also wish I could target the opponent three times with this. That'd be fantastic. Spend seven mana, deal 15. I didn't feel like Obliterator Standard was a really a, uh, a huge issue, was it? Um, why do I feel like they have Mystical Dispute back or Negate? Because they always have two Negates. <laughs> of course they do. Eh. Look, they know our hand. Sure.
Yeah, it's very hard for a red deck to deal with a uh, Phyrexian Obliterator. Nice Death Shadow? What does that mean? Bing, bing, bong, bing, bong. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, brah. They're at 11. Man. We're basically crushing them. They're gonna kill Fibblethip. They're just like, I can't deal with it anymore. It's basically a Phyrexian Arena, except they don't get to draw a card. Oh my god, they're extinction eventing to get rid of Fibblethip. That's hilarious. I also got a tech nearly to Mythic. I was Diamond Tier when the season ended. If I had like another day, I probably could have hit Mythic. I think I'm gonna try. That's awesome, dude. Oh, I see. They probably just wanted it. So, yeah, they probably just wanted it to fill their graveyard. <clears throat> is red better than just green for Euro in this deck? Wow, this is terrible. We just don't have much. Uh, we don't have a lot of card advantage, I don't think. I feel like we're just not. Yeah, this, this is just. Yeah, this is just fucking. Like, this card's miserable. I mean, we lose Immolating Inferno and Sh Captain Lannery. Yep, cool. <sighs> Never don't have Ugin. I'm just already so tired of Ugin and and Euro. All right, let's see. So, what do we lose for it? We lose Chandra, Niv, Mizzet, Lannery, and Jaya, and Justin. Yeah, it's quite a bit. God, your just feels too good to not have in the deck. <clears throat> so, this is good. Collected and not collected. Like, I honestly, uh, I argued for the card not being banned because I was like, it's just a really efficient creature, but I, I just... The more I play against it, like, just the more I just don't want to even deal with it. I also don't think, I don't think this is the correct Gideon. Uh, just because, like, we don't have anything to target with his ability, so you're basically just hoping it survives long enough and does nothing to get to uh, the negative six. Whereas other Gideon being able to prevent damage from, like, lands or Euro is pretty decent. I'm definitely going to put two of these in. I don't want to make a third one yet because I don't know if he's that good. <clears throat> Kamal's Rudy Foul is garbage. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you don't want that. That's I don't think it's very good. I I, I wouldn't play Kamal's if I was playing uh if we were just playing green. I actually really like God Eternal Oketra. We don't have a ton of creatures, though. Like, how many creatures do we have? 16? I almost want to play, like, a Lyra in the main deck. I think Kefnet number two could probably be, probably, probably be pretty good. Um, the circle of life. <clears throat> Tales end. Uh, what about one Baron? Verna's putting your hand from the battlefield. Draw a card. I kind of like that. I also think three Kiras might be a little much because, like, you just don't want to draw multiples of them. I also, again, I don't like. I don't think Search is great. I really love Karn's Temporal Sundering. I want to take out these. I want to put one Baron in. Take out one Kira. One more Kefnet. Wait, this is the three drop. That's the wrong one. What does this guy do? Five, five. Can't attack unless you have seven more cards. Mm. Oh, one of Jeskai Ultimatum is pretty interesting. 
I do I do like the idea of having like a, a, a better top end, like a like just a thing we can windmill slam. I also like Kazmina a lot. Hmm. Does NASA deep dueling do anything? Not really. Like there's no cards that we really want to like blink here. I feel like Ruinous Blast is probably just better in the sideboard. Because I think there's a lot of matchups where it's just like the the, the format is like so many it's good in a lot of matchups. I'm gonna give it I'll give it another shot, but I, I just I feel like there's a lot of matchups where like you just don't just don't care about it. Like I'm gonna trust you though. I can see one three. Because like if they have like Euros and, and Ugans, like it's just not I'll take out one candidate because reasons. Um I don't know why they gave this card new art. Maybe this art is actually already present. Four, 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 five. Attacking creatures flying at plus one, plus one. Whenever three more creatures control flying, attack each player gains control of a non land. Each player gains control of a non land permanent of your choice, controlled by the player to their right. Okay, so you're just switching. I kind of want another Karn's Temporal Sundering. It's like one of my favorite reasons to play this deck. It's just time warp. Plus, like, you bounce a thing, and it's cheaper if you happen to hit it with a Kefnet, which we added. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put one more in. Like, it's just one of the best reasons to play this deck, I think. It's one of my one of the best payoffs. You guys remember Nezahal? Nezahal was really hard to deal with. I wonder if Nezahal is, like, a sick top-end card that we can just play. Whenever they cast a non-creature spell. I don't know, that's tempting. That card was bananas in the in the standard format. Like you just couldn't kill it. Every time they try to kill it, you draw a card, so you actually discard you exile two cards. Discard two cards to, to exile it. Hey, Frank, I just played you, and I wanted to pop in here and say that the deck is sweet, and thanks for the games. Hey, good games, man. I mean, I'm not going to congratulate you on Euros and Ugins, because they're both miserable cards. But nonetheless, good games. Appreciate the bits, my dude. <laughs> We're just trying to figure out what's uh, the best, what are the best legendary options for this deck. I feel like Ugin is also just good like it's just fine for this deck right because it's ugin wait hold on oh man someone convinced me not to play a tally someone say you probably shouldn't play this card this six six legendary dinosaur as a one of You probably should play. Two people said I should play it, and that's really all I need to see. What if we just make this like a Highlander deck, and we just put like a bunch of cool one of legendary creatures? Um, yeah, that's true, but I really don't think this has that many cards that kill it. Plus, you can play it at the end of your turn with Raph, so it's basically kind of having haste. Right? So, like, you just go Raph, and then you go turn six, end of turn Atali, and then, like... The number of cards in this format that can actually deal with this is not like heartless act and like that is that it? <laughs> like what are the like red cards have a hard time dealing with it because it's a six six. You can't eliminate it. You can't path it. That's not even an option. Either way, we can. I think we can try one and not not be in a. Not have too much of an issue. You should definitely blank that big dumb dino. I can't tell if that's play or not play. Oh god. 
I'm really tempted to just like it's there's so many cool like legendary creatures that I just want to like play one ofs are one ofs are one ofs one ofs I don't know what I'm saying like the Azor the Lawbringer like it's literally just a 6-6 six, six flyer that like doesn't like it you just Sphinx's revelation on it But, like, we don't necessarily need ramp because, like, we just hit our lands. Like, we just go turn four, turn five, turn six. Like, we're not necessarily ramping here. What was that card I was going to add? I totally forgot what it was. We were talking about it. I think it was cheap. Do I have to scroll up? I mean, also, like, it, just, like, by playing the legendary creatures, like, just one ofs, like, it's easier, it makes it easier to tell, like, what you're good. Oh, I kind of do like Joyra. Chromium. Chromium is sweet. Did you guys tell me what that card was? I could have sworn we were like, they were, they were mentioning a card that was like two or three mana that we were going to play, but I forgot what it was. And now I'll never remember what it is. The Legendary Mox? Not really, no. I mean, because... Maybe you cast a non-creature spell. We do have a lot of non-creature spells. Also, like, Atali's even better with with Kira, right? Like, we just play Atali, and they're like, oh, wow, you got a Kira out. I can't do anything about that. And I'm just like, that's right, you can't. And Golos is... Golos is legendary. No one's telling me. Draw a card, the next slot card from your hand. Transform it. I did mention Ugin. I thought we were talking about a cheap card, though. Definitely not Nezel. You guys are like, was it a 7 drop? Was it an 8 drop? Wasn't Nyx Lotus. It's not going to be any of these. Man, dude, I really like this 6 drop Ugin too. I think I like it better than Chandra, to be honest with you. I don't think Chandra does... Every time I play Chandra, like, it's only good when they're at, like, 4 and I'm trying to close out the game. Where I think a lot of times Ugin is just better. I'm telling you, it was the second Atali. You know, I don't think it was. But maybe, you know, maybe. This is this is so tempting. Nar said four, the only thing I don't like is that it doesn't help you ask, cast creatures, and like for for six we do have some creatures we want to be able to cast. Uh Immortal Sun, we have a bunch of planeswalkers. We have Tefri, we have Ugin, we have uh Narset, Gideon. Like Okay, let's look at Two drops. I don't think there was anything. I don't think it exists. Oh, the Teferi. Boros Reckoner. Still not still not legal. Still not legal. But you know what, buddy? You tried. Let's check out the threes. I don't think Heliod's good. I, I don't know. I think I like this. We need one more card. Um, What could our one more card be? Squee is... Squee's alright. Squee's alright. All right. I actually kind of like Ashrak for the sideboard to get rid of the um, stupid. I don't know if we need four Ruinous Blasts. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to put Ashiok in here. I'm going to add two Ashioks. Take out one Moo. 
We gotta take out two moos. Oh, I didn't take one of these out, I guess. Alright. We'll try it like that. I think Ashrak's good. Um, because Ashrak, like, it gets rid of Euros. Euros. <laughs> so it, it hurt, you know, helps your opponent because they it hurts your opponent because they can't spend their money. Because you're taking all the Euros. It's a little it's a little currency, currency humor. Is this card any good? You may cast a non-creature card from Menace from a graveyard. Not really. That's a that's a that's a negative Ghost Rider. Scions. Eh. I was thinking about three mana Dovin. What about like one Joyra? Uh. J. Uh, how do you uh, how do you spell it? Oh, I guess it, it it helps if you don't have it on three. Let's take that off. Thanks. God, you guys are so smart, dude. All right, we're gonna try it like this. This is gonna be our this is gonna be our our thing. No one knows what I'm saying. It's literally just gibberish. Beansley, lol. Yeah, I'll keep seven. Sure, I like it. I want to go Kira and Delanery. Hmm, it's called. It's pronounced Lanari. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, double Lanari. Um, I'm gonna pay two because we're gonna keep up some Justice Strike. This is the most. Commander like non commander deck I've seen you play. You should put a companion. I was definitely thinking of Yorion. The goal is to get him to play Commander. Josh, do you even play that much Commander? Do you think this deck's playing Phyrexian Obliterator? One can. Oh, geez. Now it's got to be Lannery Storm, right? No, I think it still has to be Kira here. Hunter's chewing on his bone. Oh, do 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 do. The best part is Lannery Storm still gets to attack here, so we will get the token for sure. We trading? Oh yeah, do it. Which means next turn we can play. I guess we could have played Teferi anyway next turn. But nevertheless, we still get to play Teferi next turn. Thrag Tusk is in this format? Oh, baby. That's rough because Teferi goes to five, and then we have to chump. Who likes that? Wow, Thrag Tusk is hard to deal with. Katie, someone just played a Thrag Tusk against me. We could Lannery? Actually, let's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whenever you sack a token, sure. Well, I think we just play Narset here. Many 
Yeah, no blocks here. That's fine. It is Vito. Vito actually Vito into Thrag Tusk is bananas. That's a sweet. That's a sweet combination move. We cannot play Niv Miss This is a lot of islands. I'm on, that's unfortunate. Um I assume we play Teferi, bounce the token, negative this. Hmm. We know they have Swamp and two blanks. Let's see what we hit first. Meditate. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. I don't know if I love Narset in the deck. I don't know how many how many hits we have. We have to we have to check on hits. Let's slow this down. Hunter! Stop! We can also just plus here. Block here goes to two. I think we want a plus here. No time for a break. Okay. Enter tapped. If we had a raft, we can play this guy. One, two. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, block you. Yeah, that's fine. Want me to phase you out of time? Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. We did it. Keep up the pace. Wow, Niv-Miz, it's like impossible to kill here. One, two, three, four, five, six, we have seven mana. Yeah. Uh, let's say no attacks here. Thank you. Myrmidus, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. I really appreciate it. Also, it's the last day of the month. So if you guys want to subscribe... For August and help me out that would be super sweet and I would appreciate you guys <sighs> Lyra just seems really good this is probably Urza's Ruinous Blast matchup Urza's Ruinous is that right like what did we see we saw Thrag Tusk Vito Jade Light Ranger yeah this is probably a matchup for that I want to take Narset out bring in the Ruinous Blast That Thank seems you. fine. Tefri plus Ugin? Shame. What does that mean? What are you saying, Snarky Zero? Thank you for the resub. 19 months is a significant amount of time, and I appreciate your support. Um... No, no. I do kind of like Lyra, just as like a... Put in a stuff you don't... We don't even have friggin... Oh god, I'm just gonna play it like this. I think I think our deck is fine. Remember that time someone was like, Beansley, lol. Was it winmore.com? It was, it was winmore.com. Oh wow. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this, even though it's not good. It got, it got a little better. That's fine. Like this is this is the great thing about keeping a hand like this is that your opponent's like, "Thank you." Well, your hand sucks. I don't even know what to take. Oops, I'm drunk. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Yeah, if you guys want to give me your Twitch Prime subs, that'd be super sweet. Just basically everything that everything that gets uh, every, all the bits and subs subscriptions that happen today are like the last. Today's the last day for like my April. Which uh, payments payment cutoff thing, or August rather, not April? <laughs> Isn't it Prime Gaming? Yeah, probably. I don't know. Well, I I don't know. Thank you, Golden Goose with the resub and Butts Mc. <laughs> Thank you know what, man? That's probably the best name I've seen in a long time. Butts McGandalf. God, that's so good. That's... It's just wonderful. 
Oh, oh, this is just the explore deck. Yeah, this is... I really hope we just hit a Urza's Rage. Because otherwise we're doing, doing rough here. I love you, dude. Oh my god. You are my favorite. We did not draw the thing. We drew a, f we drew a f bloop. <sighs> Brett, dude, I appreciate you so much, man. Thank you. This is historic, right? So we can go this, this, this. 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Brett, you're awesome. Uh, no attacks. I don't want to have to block, you know? You know what I'm saying? Okay, well, now we're going to do it, I guess. We can work at night, but I'd also be tempted to block here and then and then use it, but I can't. I mean, if they're going to thought seize me, I have to use it now. So, Hunter is chewing his bone, and I gotta. I hold on, give me one second. So I went to go. What happened? I went to go get Hunter out of the room because he was chewing his bone really loudly. Did we just win? Do they just have nothing in hand so we won the game? <laughs> uh. Alright. Well. I guess that's a thing. Oh. <laughs> Odin couldn't handle. Oh god, that's so wet. That's what I said when I was picking up Hunter's bone. It was really moist from him chewing. I was just like, oh god, it's so wet. <laughs> Jesus. Oh lord. I don't want to make any changes because I feel like things went well that game. Oh, actually, one thing I do want to do. I'm going to click all these buttons until I get the right one. I want to take out one of the islands for one more red source. Probably another... We have lots of blue and lots of double red, so probably another Sulphur Falls. Like, I don't think we're ever going to have a problem with Sulphur Falls coming to play tapped. I also don't like the Narset. I, I think we're just going to whiff on Narset a bunch. My kids are watching Wreck-It Ralph for goodness sake. Hey, buddy. I'm just talking about dog bones. Let me. How many hits do we have? Narset's only non-creature, non non-land, right? So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen... 15? 15 does not seem like a lot. And that's also including, like... You know, the cards we have in hand already. So. I don't know. I don't know, man. Also, is there a reason, like, this isn't just one castle? Like one castle of interest instead of I mean two 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 basics seem fine. <laughs> we need about six more Atalis. We need legends, sure, but like I'm not saying we're I'm not gonna take we're not gonna take Nars out and, and not put legends in, right? Like we're just gonna put different legends in. Like at no point am I talking about taking out legendary creatures and not replacing them with other legendary creatures. You sound like a crazy person. If a permanent was put into your hand from the battlefield, do we have anything that works with that? Not really. Yeah, I wouldn't play the white one for sure. But the blue one seems good. Uh, 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 uh. 
What about Moo, Li Moo Yanling in the main deck? Uh, uh. I think triple red is a bit much, but also I don't know if he's... Oh, wow. Ch 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 uh, with Torbran with uh, with Jai's and Living Inferno is pretty sweet. Instead of like three, you're dealing five to everything. Why is black highlighted? We're not playing black in this deck. Well, cause, oh, because I put an Ashiok in here all of a sudden we're a black deck? Cool. Way to go. Is it just squee? Did you check if Narset should be in the deck? What does that mean? What are you saying, Michael? M21 Teferi? I don't like M21 Teferi that much. I just don't. That's just me, though. That's not like... That's not any sort of... Uh... What does this dude do? Whenever an opponent draws their first card each turn, if it's not their turn... If it's not their turn. So if they draw a card on our turn, we get a 1-1. One, one. Whenever one or more devils attack one or more players, this is a devil. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. So, like, if this guy attacks, they draw a card and discard a card during our turn. So it triggers himself. So you attack with this guy, and then they draw and discard. And then we get to uh, make another 1-1. One, one. That's interesting. I mean, we're, we're letting them loot. So if Euro wasn't a thing, I might I might think that was pretty decent. Is it at random? Okay, that's pretty bad. That's no bueno. Spend this only to cast artifact or activate abilities of artifacts. Actual zero artifacts. Okay, sounds good. I don't think Royal Science does much in this deck. I just don't think loot, the looting is very good. Huh. I mean, I'm almost tempted to play like Kiora. Kiora on three lets us play like Teferi on five or Ruinous, Teferi on four or Ruinous Blast. It also triggers on Kefnet. Eh, it doesn't trigger on enough though. If it was three or three or greater, I'd be like, oh, that seems sweet, but it's it is not. Manix Rider? What is what do you, what is that? Sammy, what are you saying right now? What are you saying, Sammy? Or Sam, rather? Mantis Rider. No, Mantis Rider is not legal. That would be But it's also not legendary, so I'm trying to get some legendaries up in this piece. What does this guy do? Whenever it attacks, untap another creature you control. This guy makes Fabloop a, a four four. That's actually kind of funny. Huh, that's interesting. Like, turn two for bloop into turn three Taranika. Untap another creature you control until end of turn that creature gains base power. So, like, we can also make Joyra, like... Oh, uh, I don't think we have enough hits for, for Narset, no. Niambi's two mana, right? Not three. Or is, it, is she three? Okay. When it enters the battlefield, we search your library for Teferi... Wait, what, what, what? What? Wait, no, this doesn't do anything. There's gotta be... There's gotta be another one, right? Is there a two-drop one? When she enters the battlefield, you may return another creature you control to someone's hand. If you do gain life, you will accrue your mana cost. Discard a legendary... Oh, wow. Oh, why don't we have this in here? Holy shit. Oh my god, this is like perfect for our deck. Discard a legendary card, draw two cards. Holy, <laughs> because I didn't know it exists. That's This is what you're here for, Josh. This is exactly what we're looking for, dude. Oh, wow. It also works really well with Baron, too, because you get to bounce your own creature. So then you're like, cool. And it already has flash, so like, oh, that's awesome. Oh, man. 
Caldor, good call, man. Good call. Four mana Gideon from ba Battle for Zendikar? No, four mana. There is no Gideon ally of Zendikar in this format. I'm kind of grateful for that because that card was problematic for a long time. Oh, I'm actually gonna hold on to this because I think if you like turn turn two for both of turn three cycle is just fine. Okay, don't don't do me dirty though. Don't give me another land. Down here, salt is a way of life. Look at this hand. Six fucking lands. Don't give me another land. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, you opt. Nah, no blocks. I'm good. Okay, this is a lot of lands. This is an awkward number of lands. Eh, no attacks. We do got some wizardry. With this deck, we just hit our land draws. <laughs> oh, good times. Everybody's having a good time. One, two, three, four. Nine, nine lands is a completely reasonable amount to have on turn four. Okay. Eh, we'll just take two. Ooh, that's a juicy boy. Mm, no attacks. I mean, Kira's like such. I think Kira's fantastic. Yep. Recast Wizards you can do. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, they're tapped out though. Oh, that's really good. Wow, I love it. Love it. Is this correct? This doesn't feel correct. Three, four, five, six, nine, and ten, eleven, twelve, three, six, thirteen. Oh boy. They're all wizards, man. This deck is this deck is wild. Man, where's that Mirza's rage is at now? Those things are definitely coming in. Um uh... Boy. Let's talk about the amount of lands we've drawn this game. It's nine. Ten. It's ten. To five cards. It's substantial. It is a high number. I'm 
Okay. Uh huh. No, I don't think 25 lands is absurd at all. Wait, these are the only attacks? I don't understand. That was a very weird. Why not go face with this guy? Why not? Why? Oh, I don't understand. We need to move quick. Why don't Baron have flash? <laughs> yep, that's probably gonna be game. Wow, Nimbus was real good here, but not good enough. They still have one opt. It doesn't even matter. Shut up and take my money. Oh, exhibit! Hey, Frank, heard you like lands. Did you put lands in my lands so that I could draw lands while I draw lands? Yep. I don't like. No, sir, I don't like it. Like it's just never winning here. Like they just keep getting bigger. All right, we're just gonna concede. Okay. Uh, also, fiery cannonade seems good here. Blue ley line? You mean trash line? I'm actually gonna take out Landry Storm in this matchup. I don't think it's great. I have to sneeze. Excuse me. Okay, so we can go uh, two ruinous, two cannonade. Done. Why well, say many word when few word do trick, guys? Oh yeah, snap it off. Snap it up, snap it in. Let me back in. No game, no win, but on me. That's a this card, a legendary card, draw two. Oh boy, that's that's a spicy meatball. I'm loving it. It's a May ability, right? You may return. Sure. I actually don't even know if I want to play it here. I might just play Baron, bounce this guy, and then we can Nambia bounce Baron and draw a card. Oh, wait, it's not going to be in play, though. So maybe. Yeah. Okay, okay. I want to gain two here. Does that do anything? 
Yeah, sure. I feel like we're not hitting enough, like, three and four cards that are relevant. Alright, well. It didn't seem like they had op last turn or else they would have probably cast it, right? So, that's fine with me. Oh, wow. Um... So we can Karn, bounce this, draw a card, next turn, Cannonade. Ha! Well, this is legendary, unfortunately, but still gets rid of these two. Um, one, two, three... One, two, three, four. That seemed pretty decent. Sure. Cycling three. Bold strategy, Cotton. <laughs> Do they not know what Kira does? Because that's pretty funny. Uh huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. <laughs> I think we're just doing this. It does exile. Oh, it doesn't exile Kira, actually. Never mind. For some reason, I was like, it's not legendary. It's legendary. Wizard's Lightning who? They countered their own Wizard's Lightning. Okay. I understand. I feel like Lyra is really hard for them to deal with. Let's take out the Atali, actually. And put in the Lyra's. I also think Ugin's not super impressive here. Makes two twos. Um, Justice Strike into Kira seems great. They died like they live. Playing weirdly. Oh, this hand seems great. You got it. What up, soul boy? Hmm. They 
didn't do anything. Strong turn, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. And yeah, no blocks. Definitely killing this. Sure. Anticipate. Well, we're probably gonna take four here. Wow. Probably gonna take five here. Go to three. Yikes. Probably gonna chump block here. Because I don't wanna die. Seems good. Yikes. Um. Well, they have no cards in hand. So if they can top take a land for a turn, I'd be grateful. Thank you. Seems good. Decline the reveal. Sure. It's definitely considering not attacking because they have haste creatures, but... They did not draw one there, so decline again because all we do is hit lands. But now, if they play Avatalis or uh, the other two two, we can just block with Raph, which is nice. And they're probably gonna shock our face. Either Gus, their own creature. Seems good. Reveal? No, no, I will not reveal getting the trials here. Oh, good. I'm glad. You, I'm glad you tapped Castle Vantress, so now I can't. Uh... Okay, we win the game. Are we 2-1? I thought we were 3-1. We just won this. We won against the Explore deck. Um, we lost against Sultai. But didn't we also win the game where they like conceded preemptively? I don't know what that... Maybe that was, maybe that was the Explore deck. I think that was the Explore deck. Oh, that was the Explore deck because we actually... Uh, Jaya's Immolating inferno would them. Oh, double, double wild card. And, um, you know, that was pretty good. We're 5-0 in my heart. I don't. I still don't want to change anything except for maybe more early stuff. I kind of almost want a second Baron. I don't want to take the Atali out though. It's too. Maybe we're fine. I don't actually care about Lannery Storm that much. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, we. I think we just playing on curve is really just fine. I mean, it's great when you get the clue, but, like, there's a lot of creatures that block it and kill it. Like... I like this hand a lot, except for the lands, but we are on the draw. Uh, the pirate's a 2-2 two, two for 3 with haste, and whenever it attacks, you get a treasure. Uh, and whenever you crack a treasure, it gets plus 1, plus 0. Oh. So basically, the first time it attacks, it gives you a treasure. And 
Oh, that was a good that was a good draw. Except we can't cast you on turn two. We can still cast Fabloop on turn two though. And then we can actually cast you later and draw a card off Joyra. Also, any blue swords lets us cast Kira next turn. Oh, that's not one we're looking for, but that's okay. Might still play that so we can get Kefnet down, but I will 100% block if you want him. <laughs> Deal. Deal. Oh, look, it's... It's his big brother. Oh, that was a fantastic draw. Yeah, I don't see any situation where Fibletip on board is better than a land elf on board, but... This time, we're not going to block. Murderous Rider just run out there, huh? Now is it Kefnet or is it Joyra? Somebody's sneaking in here. Oh, it's... <laughs> I know who it is. Hello, my dear. Hello. Can I join you? Of course. Of course. I think it's Joyra. No attacks? Yeah, we'll attack. I don't foresee us blocking with Kira. What up, my dear? Hello? Hello, governor. How was your reading going? Could you just not take it anymore? No. <laughs> she was, what were you reading? Radiation physics. Everybody, everybody loves radiation. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow, dear. that guy was really... He was really loud and... He was really into it. He was really into it. Hello, chat. This is nice because we get to draw a card. I love drawing cards. It's just in time. It's basically the only thing I want to do. The magic and gathering on the internet. And not on the internet. I don't care where it is. No attacks. What are you doing with your mouth right now? I was just doing a little yawn. Okay. Well, that's... I didn't cover my face, though, like a polite person. Yeah, you're just like this. And I'm like, what's happening right now? I think we're just taking seven. But I think Looks I'll... like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna block with any more. What are they sacking? A land? I bet they sack a land. <laughs> Classic. Typical. Why would you sack a woodland cemetery over... Oh, I guess this is a... not a swamp. But I'm gonna make swamp. Okay, we're really looking for... the five mana card that lets us, like... do the things. Okay, we double... Just let's just kill this thing. Decline. This is instant or sorcery. Whenever you draw a first card, if, if you're an instant or sorcery, he just doesn't have enough. Just got to have reach, right? Okay, good. Can no, you, he just got everything else. Can you imagine? I can, because Watsy makes cards like that. Do anything. <laughs> what are you saying right now? Sounds about as exciting as me studying for Casp. I don't know what Casp is. Collegiate. American scientific program proliferation. Wow, I would That's have said I think term. it's C ASP and it's a snake program. Mm. You see ASPs and it's and then they're like some of them are because they get real snooty. You know, they wanted they attack last turn because they're adorable little girly dogs. This is the one I want to get. But you have to like. Why don't you have it? Because you have to. It's like a, literally the last reward, on like the experience track thing. So, so I, you need to play more magic. Yeah, basically, hmm. like night and day, till the end of time. Both. We're gonna draw two cards from casting both of these. Hello, nifty Chris. Dude, Joy was OP. Look at that. Drew a card. Did you see it? Decline. Play this. Hi, Hunsy Bunts. Come here. What are you doing, big man? They have four mana. Technically, they could kill something twice, but... I mean... 
This says return another creature to... We're just definitely playing this because I want to be able to activate it and discard Kefnet next turn. Oh, it's your boy. It's your boy. It is. It is your boy. Um, I don't think I want to bounce anything, though. Did that say niv is it Prawn? Parron. Oh. Prawn. I was like, he ain't a prawn. Uh, we have to target something, so I'll target this guy. But then it gets countered anyway. Okay, that's fine. Her? One, two, three, four, five, six, we have seven mana. Oh my god, can you imagine if we topped it at Urza's Ru oh, dang, we did not. Urza's Ruinous Foundation. One, two, three, four, five, six. This draws us a card again? Oh my god, dude, Jorah's doing, doing work. Hunter, you're ruining <laughs> It's, It's not good. Wait, wait, did we mess up? Oh, we messed up. Uh oh. Oh wow, I'm getting real. I don't like it. Uh oh. That was not good. Oh, that was that was bad. Oh, wow, it should have just been sulfur fall so we can play this Niv Mizzet. Now we can't. Wow, that was really bad. Yep, make sure you let me know I punted. It's always a pleasure. Um, I think we're just passing here. Wow, that was terrible. We can still activate this discard Kefna to draw two, which is pretty sweet. I was being sarcastic about making sure to let me know I punted because... He was. Because it adds nothing to the stream. Just so you guys know. Why do you have a punt counter? Uh, it just comes with MTG bot. Um, can you delete it? Maybe. Pint of ice cream. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. But when he typed it in all caps, it worked. And when he put it in lower. Elder Gargaroth. Sure. That guy's good. What does he do? Vigilance Reach Trample. Whenever it and attacks, then he gets everything. Or whenever it attacks or blocks, you choose one. He's like Swag Bay. But... He has a very Swag Bay feel to him, okay. yeah. Ooh, they didn't do it. So now I get to, like, discard a Kefna to draw two. Um, did I just draw two lands? Oh, declined to... Oh, that was like... Oh! <gasps> oh, wow. Okay, so this deals up to X damage to three targets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana, so it's gonna deal six to three things. This can bounce something and give us another turn. So this guy has reach. All right, so we kind of have to kill that first or get Does rid of it. That other guy have? Oh yeah, he has hexproof. Is that what that swirly means on him? Yes. Him? Oh. Oh. Wait. What did I draw? You drew the Karn. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay. And we get to draw a card from Joyro for playing it. Oh boy, guys. And we get to draw a card for this Gideon. Oh boy, we're doing it. This is the Show dream. You can do. Okay. That's... <laughs> Everything draws us a card. Do you want a second Joyra in the deck? Because that card performed. Oh, we also revealed Karn's Temporal Sundering to Kefnet. And Kefnet says, you reveal an instant or sorcery card if it's the first one you drew return it, and then you get to copy it. So we oh. copied the take an extra turn. And then they were like, oh, we're done. I guess, we'll, I guess we're never going to take, I guess we're going to take two extra turns. Michael's home. I'm having a bad time. I was watching another streamer this afternoon, and he saw some jerk leave a doggy attached to a fence and then drive away. While what? The, while it was very obvious no one lived at the house. Is that legal? You're watching a stream? Um, I mean, I think it's based on a lot of factors that aren't 
Maybe just what's written there? I love my dogs too, but they are loud. Well, Watson and Wally are loud. Hunter actually is relatively quiet. Current deck list, you're literally looking at it right now. <laughs> this, this is it. We got nothing more for you. It's the one we're playing right now. You could literally screen cap it. Just hit that screenshot button. What? Whoa, that's not. Look at that's. Remember that time when only basic lands would go up here? Oh my god, and look, they don't have names anymore. No. This is They're actually. They're all whatever you want them to be, and they don't have text on them either. <laughs> They've gotten worse. There used to be a bug where only the basic lands would go up here. So, oh, like, you would you scroll, scroll down, and there'd be like two basic lands up here. But now, apparently, everything goes up. So, that's a good fix. I have to cut one more thing. I'll cut Gideon. Watsy, bug fixed? <laughs> it's not a bug, it's a feature. Who's got who's got Hedgehog right now? Probably Hunter. It's, Hunter's the only one that plays with a lot of those dog toys. Well, the other doggies want to play with them, but then when Hunter decides he's going to destroy one, he really destroys it. So. Well. He's been working on the toothbrush-toothpaste combo. What do you think of these? These are Doc Martens, which I'm not a huge... I'm, I'm not a Doc Martin fan, but they have Jean-Michel Basquiat, like, art on them. I kind of like them a lot. I want to support you in whatever you like. <laughs> Look, it could just be another episode of the shit Frank buys. Oh, that's sad. I thought they are going to take this. A little while later, the wife said it was pit mix and they were abandoning the... What the fuck? What is this streamer watching? I've never heard of a streamer that like watch that like just vlogs their life. Abandoning puppies is not legal to my knowledge. That's that's yeah, I've I'm no expert, but I've also I also feel like that's not a legal thing to do. There are interesting things about like leaving dogs outside of like restaurants and stuff when you go inside because dogs are considered personal property and so you can leave your property where you want but then they also have to get like care because they're a living thing so but no you can't abandon your property just like you can't abandon a car or something maybe you can't plus it's just mean because doggies languish so I just get to slam Tefri here. That's pretty cool. Let's slow this. Keep up the pace. Keep up the pace. K-pop the pace. K-pop the pace. Are you a big K-pop fan? Huge. I didn't know Maelstrom Pulse is even legal in this format. That means Wild. No. He showed you. He did. I feel... Sorry. <laughs> what you got in here? Um, Kiwi Strawberry. Wanna give it a shot? Give it a little try? You didn't even hate it that time you tried it. You didn't even hate it that much. You're like, oh, it's not as bad as I thought. And now all of a sudden you're like, I'll never try it again after the time I didn't hate it that much. What do you like? Do you like green dog or do you like fire dog? I kind of like fire dog for now. Boy, I really wish he we had six He reminds me of World of Warcraft. I can see that. Well, I'm gonna play this because I really want to hit a six. I wish I had a six land. Ugin gets rid of this. Karn bounces it and gives us another turn. That's why I leave my baby tied up outside of the grocery store. He'll be there when I get back, and maybe he'll make some more friends. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I made friends when I was young. Is that your parents tied you up outside the grocery <laughs> store? That makes sense. You know, they'd leave me at the little rocket ship that's in the, the thing, and I would just ride it. Uh, yeah, I'll, I, I I honestly don't think killing Kefnet's the right play because Gyra is like the, a bonkers engine. <laughs> you hear the hedgehog? Yeah. Sometimes he doesn't even have a face. I don't know how he's making the noise. Sometimes I leave Katie tied up outside the grocery store, and I hope she makes friends too. I get really paranoid when I even leave yes. my dogs in my cars for like my car for ten minutes. So we're taking extra turn, we're bouncing their five drop, and we're drawing a card from Joyra. 
Yeah, that seems pretty ridiculous. Oh, we can do it again, too, because well, I don't want to bounce this guy, though. I think we're just playing Ugin here, drawing another card. Ever feel bad? I mean, regularly, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm not I'm not shy of empathy, you know? But I just think them killing Kefnet instead of this is just a pretty bad play, because, like, this... Th a, this guy has reach, so why care about the 4-5? And yeah, I can get trample. Or reach. Or haste. So they're both going at Ugin. So I'm pretty sure I'm just blocking here. If I block here, yeah. they give it trample. It takes five anyway, so I might as well kill this guy. If I have one more mana, I could I could justice strike. I must return to my meditation. <laughs> He's busy. He's got things to do. Chat, what should we watch tonight between Love Calf? Lovecraft Country. I, I literally can't say the name of that show. Or Continuing on the Last Dance, the Michael Jordan movie. It's the Bulls. Show. It's about the Bulls, not just Michael Jordan. The Michael Jordan movie. The new Space Jam. <laughs> Space Jam 3. Um, or Continue Hannibal. I, I think those are dead. the options. They're just tonight. dead here, right? I think they've been dead for many turns. They're just not. They've been dead, dead for 45 years. Dude, we draw so many cards with Joyroute. It's unreal. Every card is, has a cantrip with Joyroute. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six mana we have. So we can play Raft, draw another card just to strike this. Yeah, that's. Phineas and Perth. Do we play land yet? We did not easily pay two. Kefnet. Draw another card. Palm Springs. Yeah, I would definitely put a second jar on this list. Like, it's just very good. What are they saying right now? They're saying a whole bunch of stuff we don't want. Did you watch. mention Selling Sunset, which is our guilty pleasure on Netflix? No, I didn't think you wanted people to know about that. <laughs> Please. Or Selling Sunset. Somebody suggested, have you heard of Palm Springs? An Andy Samberg movie? No. Me neither. What We Do in the Shadows. That sounds scary. I don't think Katie has... No, it's not. It's it's, it's a comedy. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if... You haven't seen the movie then, clearly. There's a What We, what? Have, what we Do in the Shadows movie. No, I never even heard of it. And then there's also a TV show. Oh. It's by Taika Waititi, actually. Oh. And he made the, he did the movies in the movie... It's about vampires like living in just like modern times, but like it's it's comedic in nature. Like it's like hmm. it's very good. We should actually watch it. It's actually really good. And then we can watch the show afterwards because I heard the show is very very good as well. Okay. Also, J.K. Simmons is fantastic and everything. So. But is it like slapstick? No, it's parody? like it's like The Office meets vampires. It's that kind of a show. Okay. It's like a mockumentary where they're like following vampires around. Okay. Yeah, mockumentaries exactly. What's going on? Stop using your timeouts. Your guy's dead. You only have Elder Gargaroth. Come on, Grendel. <laughs> What's the hold up here? I've been watching Big Busting Mills four. They really phoned it in for three, but came back strong in four. Well, that's good. I'm really glad that they uh, that they brought I have it back. No comments. Okay. Oh boy. Well, it's good they can put their their heart into their work again. You know, that's really the important thing. Did you like this drink at all, or did you hate it? I'd rather have plain water. Really. I had my window open. I was getting some sunlight. I saw. I was like, oh, it's a nice change of pace. I know. It was. But now it's dark out. Oh, look at this. Titanoth Rex. This is also a uh, Godzilla alternate art. This one is not, but it has a Godzilla alternate art. <laughs> that's that's the Grendel. I Presumably from Beowulf. You want to open this pack? It's too late. We're doing it. Looks like you opened it. 
What if I wanted to click it? I want to click! Ah! I know. That's a schnauzer. That's Wally. That is Wally. That's Wally when he grows up. Do you think Wally's going to be as big of a baby when he grows up? Yes. I think he's going to be a huge baby for his whole life. All right, I'm going to play one more round with this. This is for Joshua playing Josh's deck. Okay. Oh, actually, I'm going to put the second Joyra in here. All right, I'm, I'm not going to. I was just kidding. Okay. I would take Free the Free range biscuit. <laughs> you got way too excited about that. I would take out the... Um... This hand's terrible. Um, I would take out the Atali and put the second Joyra in. You don't think that one Sulfur Falls is going to get there? You know, I don't. I do think we can keep this and keep three lands here. Ship the island. Yeah. I want the I want the triple red for this really Oh I know. Really picky dragon boy. No, it's Grendel from Baltimore. <laughs> On a scale of one to cheese, how excited are you for here searching for warriors? Not really. But I think it's Nahiri, the new Nahiri is extremely relevant on what's in the new set. Because like she searches for equipment and it's like well this tech again? What an act what an absolute trash. Okay. 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 Nah, I'll take yeah, I'll take one. I'll take one. What is this? Oh, they got a they got a giganta. God. Can you be quiet? God bless you. He's gonna try. He's gonna give it his best. How long do your stakes take, Michael? How long? Okay. I'll block here. Okay, so if I justice strike, the creature's dealing damage to itself, right? What? Thank you. I have to read it. So okay, okay. This says if a if a source you control will deal non combat damage to a creature, an opponent controls. Oh, it's an opponent controls. That yeah. sucks. Dang it. Dragosi, what up? Thanks so much for reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back to. Uh, this is kind of text that says, God bless you. <laughs> Somebody just texted Michael and said, "God bless you," and that's hilarious. Nifty Chris said, "Shut up, we're streaming in here." Wow. Target creature deals damage. Oh, dang it. I don't like it. Whatever, I'll take two. No, sir, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. She doesn't like it at all. Um. Also, bouncing this, gaining a life, and drawing a, another card next turn is pretty sweet. Wallace Ray. You guys, say hi to Wallace Ray Burke. Wallace Ray is like my favorite person ever. All right, watch your head, bunny. Okay, this is whatever's happening here is... Give everything a good old sniff. She's doing a little sniff, sniff. Oh, buddy, I know it. Ow. Um, it, somebody said it says source you control. If a source, yeah, but it also says to a creature an opponent controls. So that's not how that works. Glad to see you so legitimately happy and watching for years, but think that you won't be let down if you invest in Palm Springs. <laughs> One of the best movies I've seen as of late, and would love to tell you about it. Going. Is it a comedy? Because if it's like a really, if it's a good drama, I would actually really enjoy that. Do I attack here? No. No, it's the children who are wrong. I think we just play Raph here. It's a dramedy again, can't go into it because it's worth the turns. Oh, interesting, interesting. So, wait, what are they doing? Are they playing a second experimental frenzy? Well, that's fascinating. Well, now I'm just gonna block this guy. I oh, heard about man. the premise of the thing? movie that's and fantastic. definitely wish I didn't. <sighs> Guess we're playing another bloop here because we didn't draw land. 
Or we could discard Fabloop to draw two. Ooh, that's pretty good. Drawing the good cards. Come on here to land. Oh, Kira's actually pretty good. But Kira will get us there <laughs> if we believe. That's where I be. Are they shooting this? They're shocking this without with Kira on board? That's a bold strategy. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. I don't think anyone playing on Arena knows what Kira does because all these players are like new standard players and they're like, oh shit, I didn't know what that did. That's hilarious. Uh, you did not miss any blind picks. No, uh, I have not done that. I also don't... I'm going to have to talk to Ghost of the Sun because I'm not sure if it's a good one for the Supreme Cube because I don't know if Katie and Michael are familiar with the picks enough to, like, to do it. I'm not familiar with anything. Justice. <laughs> no, dummy. God. Michael quit eavesdropping. No. You're being rude, Michael. I'm rude AF. Everybody knows that, Michael. I honestly can't wait until Legacy's introduced to MTG. I'm going to read her, read her, on, read her, read her on so many nerds and some fringe. What does that even mean? What's he saying right now? You think, Chris, I got I got news for you. Legacy is probably not going to be on MTGA for like 20 years. I didn't see anybody say hello to Wally Ray Burke. I'm pretty upset. Look at his face. I know, he's being a good boy. He's wonderful. There's a blint said he did. Scroll I up. I did. Scroll up. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I you. miss Mike B's voice. Well, that's weird. Mike B's voice is terrible. He sounds like a creature from the dark depths of... Don't speak about him like that. He's eavesdropping right now. Oh, fuck. He is. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I love these lands. That's where they got Kokomo stuck in my head, woman. Way down in Kokomo, there's a big rotten thing of snakes. What about snakes? Something about snakes. Don't worry about my snakes. Josh, did you see that? Josh said hi to you. Talking about hot snakes? I don't have those today. Thank Jesus. Mediocre magic man said hi, Wally. You? He said hi to you. Are you just gonna scoop? If you face me, you will only hurt They're yourself. gonna lightning strike this guy. I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't have swiped for bloop and then actually kept their 2-1 on board if they had a burn spell. Retreat! Retreat! <laughs> Wally loves when he gets retreats. He does. If you know what I mean. He's like, can you retreat me? So that's, what, that's when you treat him, and then you treat him again. Yeah. I'm just going to play this, because I don't feel like taking damage from the stupid land right now. Show me what you can do. Show me what you got. Okay, they struck it. They lightning struck it. Okay. Nifty Crit said hello to you too, Wally. Okay, they wizard blinding it. You got it. What's happening right now? Me and Wally are having a good time. Do I just play Lyra here? I feel like it's just Lyra. Do they do now? Well, they have Experimental Frenzy, so it's possible they can draw like three different burn spells off the top. I'm dead. The dog is so cute. Buddy, I know. She knows. We she all know. knows. We all know. Wally uses his cuteness, but thankfully he uses it for good and not evil. It's true. He wouldn't know how to use it for evil. Wait, they can't play cards from their hand? God, well, then we unlock f the four cards in their hand? Oh, let's go to damage. Because first strike. Well, she dealt her five, so I was like, oh, I guess I can play this now, but that's not how that works. Yeah, maybe it was working against him. That was nice. What? 
What I did or what the game did? What the game did. Dang it. Sorry. It's okay. I gotta I gotta earn it, you know. Look at this guy's little belly. <laughs> He's just sitting like that. Oh Jesus. Like Michael B does. God, they're really movies. they're really fighting against this liar here. Okay, another one? Sure. I feel Don't. like this is all we got. <laughs> Okay, so just playing Kira when we have Lyra out seems like what you need like six bur six four burn spells to kill this thing now. Your dog's chasing his tail like Hunter. Um sure. <laughs> shock plus fry yeah, sure. Sure. Let's 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 get him get, get a fry and shock. There's the fry. Okay. Oh, it can't be it can't be prevented. They don't even need to shock. Uh, it can't be countered, so yeah, that's pretty good. What kind of dog is Wally? Wally is a miniature schnauzer. Not to be confused with a maximum schnauzer. Even though he has long legs. Oh, look at this Joyra. That's pretty sweet. I didn't actually see that ever. Oh, also by bouncing the chain roller, they can't play because they have experimental frenzy. That's pretty sweet. I didn't even realize that. Also, if they try to kill anything else, we just get to... Okay, Wizard's Lightning on Kira. You got it. So now we get to Ni Niambi and bounce it. Niambi, Valley Cinema. When no. We're at 20. I'm not really concerned with this that much. Or this. I think we just play this and take one. Maybe. Yeah, boy. I don't know what she does. I don't think it does anything on the board, though. When she enters battlefield, when you turn another creature, you control to its owner's hand. Uh, so we're not going to do that because it would get countered yeah. by the Akira. Um, if you do gain life, you go to that player's can mana cost. We're not getting life because of this, but it's just a two one that draws us a card at this. I think it's worth. But my concern is that like if they try to kill like Kira next turn with two spells, we can play this and bounce it instead, mm. which I like. But they are tapped down. I don't want to bounce this because they're at seven. So they like have a limited number of like creatures they can play onto the board due to their life total. Um, yeah, my turn's fine. None of these guys have reach, right? Okay. I mean, because next turn it's game with Kira and Raf. And we get to draw two from playing both of these. So, and we're at 20. So, I, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure this game's over, but yeah, I don't care about that. And you take a point from that, so. Sure. He does schnauz well. And now you're at three. Okay. <laughs> Don't feel like this is a winning strategy, but what do I know? Lightning strike on Kira. Sure. Ooh, they're gonna try again. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Spectacle. Okay. Sure. Mountain Raminap runes, nice. Yeah, this game's over. Those free-range buttery biscuits did not get you there this time. <laughs> they never do. And... Wizard's Lightning. See, now we play this. Yeah, boy. Bounce. Resolve. Resolve that. Pass to attackers. Just that guy, huh? Those two? They're still thinking. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, wow. You're getting, getting confident. Well, they played a mana, and they have no lands. So They played, they played a, a land, and they have no mana. So They played a mana. They have no lands. We Armageddon. They have none. I had no idea where that music was coming from. Are you referring to the Lion King soundtrack that Katie was singing? Oh, 
for real song. The day we arrive on the planet. Oh wow, I just want to play this next turn and, and remove their whole life. Oh, they just lose. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys appreciated this deck. You can check it out. I'm going to show it to you now. It's also going to be in the description below. And I want you guys to check out NordVPN.org. NordVPN.org slash Frank Lepore. It is a, it is a team sponsor currently. You get 68% off the first two year subscription and a month free, which is a pretty great deal. So if you guys are looking for a VPN, if you guys are looking for some internet security, definitely check them out. It is a sweet offer. You can find it, the link in chat or the link in the description below. And uh, this is... Uh, Look at that Wandermare. Can you... Oh, it's gone. You know what? I'm going to do it anyway. Are you ready? Yeah. I want to see its picture. It looks cute. Look at him. Oh. oh <laughs> so majestic. It's nice art. I like it. Okay, so we're going to go here. And this is going to be the final build. I'm definitely adding another Jogger. We'll take out the Atali. Unfortunately, I really like Atali, but it's just not... And you will also find this link in the description. Josh, thank you for letting me play this deck. I think it went really well, and uh, I love the changes that I made. I, I made them, obviously, but I think they're really good for the deck. I think Baron is good, Nambi is good, Joyra was a house, and uh, hopefully you think it. Hopefully, hopefully you think it's uh, you think it's good. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at manatraders.com. They also have an amazing subscription service. If you want to play this on Magic Online, you get 20% off the first three months of any subscription, which is an awesome deal with the link and promo code down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys.